of EHP Labs, Goku Flex here, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to strengthen your core, get them strong abs, that strong base, without doing any direct ab work. So no sit-ups, none of that. So let's get into it. So a problem I see with a lot of lifters in the gym is that they're worried so much about the mind-muscle connection, which is very important by the way, but they are so worried about that mind-muscle connection that they totally forget to engage their abs and their core, meaning in a bench press, so many people are so focused on contracting their chest that they forget to put their shoulders in a healthy position. They forget to engage their abs, squeeze their glutes, engage their legs into the lift. So first off is pull-ups. A problem that I see a lot of people do is they hyper extend their lower back too much when doing their pull-ups. They pull their chest to the bar, which yes is correct, but they hyper extend their lower back too much and put a lot of pressure on their lower back. Pull your rib cage down, squeeze your abs, and squeeze your glutes. What you'll notice is it'll bring your, bring your posture in line and everything will feel like one solid piece instead of you're just pulling with your lats and hyper extending your back. So this is a hyper extended pull-up. This is what I don't want you guys to do. What I, instead, what I want you to do is engage your abs, squeeze the glutes, come here, and see how my legs have to swing in front of me to keep everything in line. Understand, because when you pull up, you're pulling your chest and your body this way, you're pulling your body forward. In order to keep your posture in line, the rest of your body has to come forward. If not, you're putting a lot of pressure on your lower back. So next exercise is a spirit bomb, aka overhead press. Now, people do the exact same problem, meaning they hyperextend their lower back on this exercise. So when they push, they pull their, they stick their stomach out as far as possible, and they put a lot of pressure on their lower back. And then they wake up the next morning why, wondering why they hit arms, yet their lower back is sore. So this is what I want you guys to do. Upon beginning the lift, Squeeze your legs, squeeze your glutes, and tuck your abs. Remember, your starting position is probably the most important part of any lift. If your starting position is bad, your ending position is gonna be even worse. So make sure that your starting position is good. So you're gonna come out here, carry the bar out, okay? So this is wrong right here. This is what a lot of people do. They start in this bad position, hyperextending their lower back. My legs aren't squeezed, my glutes aren't squeezed. I feel all the pressure on my lower back, just standing here with the bar, not even lifting. So what I want you guys to do instead is squeeze your abs, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your legs, and start from there. Press up at the top, crunch down on your abs. And finishing this video up, not only is engaging your abs important in the big heavy compound lifts, but also in the little accessory lifts. So even in dumbbell curls, Instead of hyper extending your lower back, creating this anterior pelvic tilt, I want you guys to squeeze the glutes, engage your abs, and every time you curl, I want you guys to focus on not only squeezing your bicep, but squeezing your abs at the same time. So I'm crunching down on my obliques. Okay, not none of this, okay? Instead, what I want to see is squeeze your glutes, squeeze your abs, come here. Every time you come up, Exhale, squeeze your abs. And this goes for all the exercises. Every time you complete the lift or you're at full contraction, I want you exhaling and squeezing your abs as hard as possible. Not only will you get a stronger back during the pull-ups, but your core will get stronger as well. And remember that strong core, strong glutes, strong legs is the foundation of your house. And you're only going to be as strong as that foundation. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys in the next one. Much love, strength, and honor. Aloha.